All right, guys, so now that we've got everything done, our BL Heli's been done, our VTX has been done, our Betaflight has been done, uh, we're still gonna use Betaflight though when we set this up, but what we need to do now is, I'm, I've got an M Plus in here, which is an Archer M Plus from FreeSky, and that uses Access, okay? So as you can see right here, it says Access. This radio is an Access and ACCST D16 radio. We're gonna use Access for this one because it's got the M Plus. So we're gonna bind it. So I'm gonna walk you through the binding steps, okay? So um, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, now we have a complete video on how to set up this radio and so if you need the instructions on that then you if you scroll to the bottom of this uh, uh, video feed you will find the FreeSky X9 Lite uh, instructions right there so look for that okay. Uh, this is going to assume you've already set up your radio and you know exactly what you're doing with that. Alright so on my M Plus which is in here I have a I have a um, bind button right. So to activate the bind button I have to plug my drone in. Uh, to power up my VTX and I've got to get something small enough to press on the bind button now you guys can't see that because it's hidden under my um, Top plate. I'm gonna see if I can maybe scoot it out a little bit, but I don't, I don't know if that's gonna be possible What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press my bind button down and While I'm holding it down. I'm gonna turn my drone on And what I'm gonna see is a solid red and green light. I think you could see that right in there. Okay, those are solid I'm going to go ahead and turn my radio on. Welcome to OpenTM. Okay. Now, I, I do not have this bound yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do the whole thing. So on my system, I'm going to press menu one time. And I'm, I'm down on a model called Archer RS. This is basically my access. Uh, this is basically my Archer series model testing. So I'm going to hit page. And I'm going to scroll to the left. All right. And I'm going to go to register because I want to register this one. It's in register mode. It's an access receiver, so you have to register first, and then you bind. So I'm gonna click register, and you're gonna see it automatically populate. If, it's, if it detects it, so I know there's a glare there. If it detects it, you're gonna see it say RX name M plus. All right, so then you're gonna hit enter, and it says registration okay, click okay. And, and now what you do is you power off the drone, okay? Make sure the drone is powered off entirely for this next part. So while the drone's powered off, stay where you're at here and now scroll down for receiver number two. I'm gonna set this one. For receiver number two, I'm gonna start binding it. Okay, and it's waiting now for the RX. Now I just go and turn the radio, I turn the drone on. Okay, and you see, it automatically found it, right? You don't push the button again at this point. You just turn the drone on and it says bind successful and we're okay, and look at this, watch this. We now have our telemetry here giving us our RSSI strength, and everything's good to go. So we are now bound, and now it's time to head on over to Betaflight, so let's get Betaflight up and running, okay? And I'm gonna click Connect, and I'm gonna go to my Receiver tab, and I'm gonna make sure that my drone is stable, and there you go, see how I'm getting my responses back? Now, if you haven't set your sticks up right, or you don't have your switches set up yet, then uh, there's a video that we do on that one. I can walk, you'll, you'll watch that video, the link is at the bottom uh, of this entire video series on FPV Professor, and you can do the setting up the uh, X9 Lite, and it'll go through all those. I'm gonna set up my modes here, so I'm gonna click modes, and I'm gonna go to add range, and this is gonna be my, uh, let me show you this, I can get this again. This switch, this SA switch is gonna be my arming switch, so I'm gonna click add range, I'm gonna flip that switch. And then I'm gonna drag this all the way over here because I want middle and end position to arm. Then I'm gonna to go to my angle and I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna flip my SD, so S-A-S-B-S-C-S-D. So I'm gonna flip SD right here and I'm gonna drag this box all the way to the end. And that means that when this switches all the way to me, I'm in angle mode, which is the safest, easiest mode to fly in. Now, I also want horizon mode, so I'm gonna click add range again and I'm gonna flip my SD switch and that's gonna stay in the middle. So if I'm not in angle mode, middle position is gonna be horizon mode, which is the second easiest. That means it's gonna auto level, but you can do flips and everything else. Now I'm gonna scroll down. Okay, here's my fail safe. I'm gonna go ahead and click add range and I'm gonna flip my SB switch. And I'm gonna drag this over all the way here so that when my SB switch is in third position towards me, fail safe kicks in and we'll go into an entire fail safe discussion later on in the next video series. And then I'm gonna add a beeper range right here and I'm gonna flip the same switch as my fail safe, and I'm gonna say that in middle position, I want my beeper to go off, if there's a beeper. Now, in this one, there's not one. And then at the end, I'm gonna have beeper and fail safe go. Now, I do this as practice, uh, as habit. Whether I have the beeper or not, my, all my setups are the same, okay? I'm gonna now scroll down, and I'm gonna find air mode, and I'm gonna click add range, and I'm gonna flip my SD switch again, 
And this time I'm gonna drag this box all the way to the front. And that means that if I'm in air mode, I'm in acro mode, that's pretty much the hardest way to fly. This means there's no self-leveling, there's no nothing. That's for the experienced pilots, or that's if you're under goggles. This is what you would use when you're flying goggles, and the other ones would use when you're flying line of sight normally for practicing, okay? Other than that, that pretty much does it. So with all those done, let me show you again. Air mode, you have beeper, fail safe, uh, horizon, angle, and arm, I'm gonna click save. Okay, and now let's test this out. So what I'm gonna do is I've got, I've got my system powered up. I'm gonna go to my motors tab, okay? And I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna flip this switch right here. And I'm going to arm my quad. Let me make sure my throttle's down all the way and there you go, okay? So my motors are spinning, everything's good. Now, if you do not get it to arm, you need to remember that you your values have to be uh, in this range here. So your stick center needs to be at 1500 and my sticks are in the center, so they are. And your, your low threshold is at 1050. I don't like that value. I think it should be a lot lower. What this is saying is that if your throttle, watch, watch what I'm doing. I'm at, I've just moved my throttle here to 1036, okay? That means my motors can spin at 1036 and if I move them up a little bit more, let me go right here. 10, 34, 10, 40, it means they'll spin. My problem is, is that means that I can arm this quad when, the, and, and, and when my throttle is not all the way down and I don't like that. Your option, which I would recommend, is taking this value if you want, for safety reasons, and putting this at 1005. Now, what does this mean? It means that if your throttle is slightly moved, I mean like that, it will not arm because I am beyond my low threshold of 1005. This helps to prevent arming, like when you're carrying the quad or uh, something else uh, where your throttle is moved up. Now, if I move my throttle down, it arms. If I move it up, it won't arm, okay? So do that, and then if you're unable to get it to arm and your, your throttle, you can't get the measurement, then there's something wrong with your radio you need to calibrate it. So this is also a great way to make sure that you don't just get lazy and, and, and not notice that there may be something wrong with your radio. In either case, so that's up to you if you wanna do that. Click save though, and you are now done. Everything in here is ready to fly. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back now and we're gonna put some props on this thing. I'm gonna take it for a test flight and we'll let you guys watch, okay? So I'll be right back in